We're going to switch gears now to our second case, which is a stage four lung adenocarcinoma patient whose tumor is PD-1 negative and harbors a KRAS mutation. And this will help, talk, uh, help us talk about some of the newer data that's come over the past six months that are really relevant in terms of the change in the first-line landscape uh, for patients with stage four non-small cell lung cancer. So the patient is a 58-year-old woman. She presented to the outpatient clinic with progressive uh, cough and shortness of breath over the past few weeks. Uh, the ER doctors had gotten a chest X-ray, which showed a left lower lobe consolidation, and so the thought was that the patient had a pneumonia. Uh, she was treated with fluoroquinolone antibiotics, but there was no clinical improvement in her symptoms. Uh, on examination at the time, uh, she was known to have a past medical history of type 2 diabetes. She's a current smoker on metformin. Uh, she exercised regularly, was a social drinker, and had a family history of a maternal grandmother who had died of breast cancer. On examination, at the time, she clearly did actually look ill. She was tachypnic. Uh, the O2 saturation did show some diminution. She was 93% on room air. Uh, on examination, there was no lymphadenopathy, uh, and there were bilateral ronchi and diminished breath sounds on the left side commensurate with what they found on the chest X-ray, and the ECOG performance status was 1. Laboratory findings uh, did show a leukocytosis. The white cell count was 16. And the ABG showed respiratory alkalosis uh, along with the decrease in the partial pressure of the oxygen. Uh, sputum, blood, and urine cultures were negative. This was followed with a CT scan of the chest. And here we found now a fairly large 8 centimeter left lung mass uh, consolidation with uh, air bronchograms. There was some adjacent tree and bud nodules, no effusions, and the major airways were patent. The patient subsequently got a bronchoscopy <clears throat> with washings. The washing showed the atypical cells, but the transpronchial biopsy did show high-grade lung adenocarcinoma, largely micropapillary uh, in terms of the histologic features. And the testing that was done uh, was sort of limited uh, sequencing. This was not next-gen sequencing. Uh, so for some low-hanging fruit uh, through an oncomine panel, which did test, uh, detect a KRAS codon 12 mutation, EGFR, BRAF, or wild type, uh, the patient was wild type for ALK and ROS1 as well on fish testing, and the IHC did show TTF1 commensurate with the lung adenocarcinoma diagnosis. PDL1 in this case was zero uh, percent. And finally, to round out the staging workup, the patient had a PET scan, and in addition to the left lung mass, which was FTG avid, uh, there was also a right adrenal gland, which was FTG avid, um, clinching a diagnosis of stage four lung adenocarcinoma.